Hey guys, how's it going? Today is Sunday, March 12th, 2017. And uh... Good job! Yeah, I did it right. This is Gil, this is my buddy. Basis for the Pythia. And uh... Did some good recording yesterday. Yeah, we um... Uh, we ended up having two days in the studio this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, got about one and a half out of four people done yesterday. Yeah, good progress uh, though. We've got more time in the studio today. Mm -hmm. So hoping to finish up the rest of it. And uh, anybody out there who needs any videos made, <laughs> Keith is your man. I think uh, I think they like what I'm doing for him. So. <laughs> and I'll, I'll be done with those videos soon, so I'll post them at some point in the near future. Yeah. <laughs> So we are at, uh, what do you call this, Delphi, or is that just kind of a joke? Uh, that's kind of a joke, but sure. Yeah. Del Delphi. Delphi, oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not down with the lingo. Apparently. Practice studio is uh, jokingly referred to as Delphi. Yeah. Because it is uh, related to the mythology of our band name, and I won't bore you with the details. <laughs> but. Yeah, there's there's the whole internet thing. Go look it up. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful here. I love coming out here. Like... Up on top of a hill, and then you can see from miles. Let's go over here. Adam does some wonderful farming work, and he's built recently two greenhouses, which he's asked me to do uh, videos for him sometime in the near future. So I'm thinking in springtime, I'm going to uh, come back here and do some promo stuff for him for his farm stuff. There's one, and there's the other. Just recently made those. It's bonfire time. Anyway, uh, we are we are about to leave and go back to uh, the studio. I think we're actually going to a different studio today. And then uh, I need to get some clips of David, and then I think I'll be done filming. And then uh, it's back to Asheville for me after that. So, all right, guys, catch you on the other side. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You excited for recording today? I am. Awesome. I feel good. I was drunk last night. I accidentally peed on my old sandals. Oh man. Hey, I walked I walked up to the edge and I just started peeing. And it was dark and I looked down. I was like, what is that? I pulled my phone out and turned on my flashlight. <laughs> oh shit, those are mine. <laughs> hey, when you piss on your own shoe. Yeah, but I was like, I'll just leave them out here until it rains again. <laughs> hey, these are high quality, man. Yeah, that, that's, how, that's my auto vent. The thing opens up if it gets about 65 degrees yeah which my bedroom window is right there so i can look out and if it's too hot i'll see that thing is open i can come out and roll up inside oh that's cool knitting see, that is shade cloth oh shade cloth okay yeah. it's 50 50 so it cuts out like half of the sunlight this is how the roll up sides work so you roll it all the way up ah. put that there yeah yeah mm. And there's one on either side, so if it gets really hot, you know, you can completely open it up. Yeah. It's probably going to be pretty warm in here. Oh, yeah. Step in. Ooh, nice, nice and toasty. Oh, man. This is cool as hell. And uh, the thing about Adam, Adam, do you want to do a quick spiel on your mushrooms? Yeah, these are just like some old logs that we had already fruited off of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I used to have a fruiting chamber in the house, and we hung them up out here to see how they would do. Now, all these mushrooms are like old and dried up, but they were massive. They love it out here. Um, it stays really humid in here. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of mushrooms are these? Those are oyster. Oysters, okay. Not specifically blue oyster, but they're not very blue. And they're growing on straw. This is awesome. And I'm guessing uh, by the time you get done, this entire thing is going to be filled up with these logs? Oh, yeah. Yeah, racks. I've got winches and pulleys for each of these trusses, so I'll have them hanging across the trusses and then lower them with winches to harvest. Racks all the way up against the sides. And the other greenhouse is going to be for produce. Oh, okay. That's what these barrels are for. I'll show you one of those if you can. Very good. <laughs> See the barrel laying on the side right there? Yeah. With uh, we're gonna grow stuff out the sides. Yeah, nice. It's a, gar it's a garden tower. So there's 45 holes around the side. This thing took forever to make. Oh yeah. yeah. But now we've got kind of an assembly line going. Um, 
like spinach, lettuce, herbs, all kinds of stuff. We've got some where we're making the, the holes bigger mm -hmm. so we can do like romaine and you know, head lettuce. And this is a worm composting tube. And basically, <clears throat> you put their bedding and their food in there. Mm -hmm. And they come out through these holes because they won't shit where they eat, as they say. Right. So they'll come out these holes and spread their castings through your plants all around the barrel. Which is, uh, worm castings are like really, really good compost. Very nice. That's cool as hell, man. Yeah, and then you plant more plants. You can do anything, tomatoes, peppers in the top. So like in there, for instance, I could sit this under those trusses, do plants out the side, do a tomato, and then you know some more herbs here. Mm -hmm. And the tomato I can string up to the trusses at the top. Very cool. This makes use of vertical space rather than horizontal space too. Yeah, 45 plants would take up easily from me to Gil if I was going to do it in the ground. You know. Oh well, yeah. How many, how many rows could I do inside of a greenhouse? <laughs> Not very many. Yeah, yeah. And with these guys, man. I've got 36 of these. Jesus. They're going to go in that one down there. Beat lettuce for a while. Yeah. Salad for a while. I'm growing spinach from Ella Mushroom. Oh, okay. They're, they go through tons of it. Like, I think 18 of the barrels are going to be just spinach for the Bristol and Gotham City. Yeah. We're building a walk-in cooler in there and fruiting and incubation rooms for the mushrooms. I've got power out here now. We've insulated all the walls. You see the door? Oh, yeah, yeah. We've got all the walls on in there. I'm actually going to, to pick up cooler panels this week and we're going to build a walk-in cooler get an AC unit for a window and buy a cool bot for it and basically it overclocks the uh, AC units where it can cool a little bit lower than what you would in a house mm -hmm. but uh so for like about eight eight hundred bucks I'll have an eight by eight walk-in cooler like you'd see in a restaurant that would cost you that's hell cheap yeah, yeah absolutely but that's some stuff that you guys will see in future videos. Absolutely. All right, guys, see you later. See ya. All right, heading out to the studio number two now. <laughs> There's the guys. Oh, David's here. Okay. So a bit of information. Apparently this is the last time they're going to use the studio for anything, so it's going to be interesting. Classic studio. Kind of different. David's getting set up. Finished. Hey, what is this place called? Classic Studios? This is Sonic Design. Sonic Design, okay. We were classic last one. Oh, right, right. Can you hear me? Just give me your kick. Hey, guys. Hey, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, David's about to get started. So it begins. It does, indeed. Day two. Mike hasn't even figured out that we don't know what we're doing yet. <laughs> Fucking bring the thunder, man. Luckily you haven't figured out, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, just a second, man. I'm gonna grab my monitors and get my house. Four packs here. <laughs> I'm, I'm showing the, uh, the awesome height of the ceiling here. Yeah. Standing straight up. It's mammoth. Yes. So much room for activities. <laughs> this is crazy. Like I said, it's really didn't this several different buildings that have been made into something else. Oh, uh, you know? that makes sense then. The floor used to be different in here though. Yeah. We well, built that out because yeah, it, it, it stopped. To, the riser only came out to like here. Yeah. And there was a couch down on the floor back here. Mm. I didn't like that though, so. We built it where you can be on the same level as my speakers, you know? Yeah. Nice. Hey buddy. Hey. Sounds 
pretty sexy. I can't fucking play today. That's what's happening. Yeah. Sound like you're getting warmed up, dude. They sound awesome in here. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, they sound really good. Sweet. All right, getting wrapped up here at the studio. I got enough video of David warming up earlier, so uh, I think I'll be able to work with that. Um, right now, Mike is having to go grab another cable because some weird audio issues. He's going to use his Mac and get back into Pro Tools. So, uh, yeah, doing that will resolve the issue, I think, hopefully. And uh, it's getting kind of late in the day, and I want to get back home. I got work to do tonight, so um, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. And... Uh, I'm excited to go back and kind of see what video I got. I think it's gonna come together nicely. Well, but we'll find out. <laughs> so, hey, Gil, you want to say anything? Um, thank you, Keith, for helping us out. Uh, no problem, buddy. With recording video and stuff. Yeah, I enjoy it. So it's, it's cool. It's cool. I think it'll be awesome, man. <laughs> I hope so. I think I think everything will be good. Yeah. So yeah, this is this has been awesome. This has been a very cool experience. Get to see a lot of new stuff that I've never really seen all together before. So, uh, if you guys do stuff like this again, let me know and I'll do this. <laughs>